Welcome to What the World Needs is Jesus broadcast. Got an announcement for you today. Pentecostal Power Ministries will be holding a singing May the 29th at 11 a.m. at the church there in Larry, Georgia. Michael Knight and Redeem will be their singers, and we would like to invite you all to come out and worship the Lord with us. Now, today's message is coming from Brother Ricky Phillips. The title of his message is The Door. He's going to be preaching in John 10, verse 1 through 5. Then we're going to have a song from Junior and Donna Dalton singing, Where the Roses Never Fade. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Click the bell, turn your notifications on YouTube. Follow, like, and share us on Facebook. And check us out on Instagram for some inspirational posts. Now let this video be a blessing. Man, it's just a joy to be with you here today on What the World Needs is Jesus Broadcast. Excited to be here today, amen. I tell you what, I'm so glad to get to bring you a word, a, a, a word right out of the Bible, amen, a word that Jesus is saying, glory to God. I tell you what, if we'll get in our Bibles and study and search and seek God, you know what? He'll show us things. He'll show us different things, amen. We always, we always want to hear, uh, we're always wanting to hear a word from God, amen, uh, you know what? The Bible's full of words from God, amen? The Bible is full of things that's written just to us, amen? It wasn't written just to them back in them days, but it was. it's written to us today, amen? If you'll watch the news and you'll watch the, the news over there in Israel and things that's going on over there and, and read the Bible, you'll see, you'll see things fulfilling every day, just about every day of the week, amen? You'll see stuff. You'll see things happening over there that's, that's, uh, that has been prophesied right here in the Bible. Amen. I tell you what, nothing, listen, there's nothing like reading the Bible and looking outside, looking outside and seeing it happen. Amen. There's nothing like, there's nothing like uh, 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 reading your Bible and watching it happen right in front of your eyes. Amen. I tell you what, uh, uh, we're, we're, in a, we're in a blessed generation today. We've got a, we've got a, uh, a blessed generation because we get to see things that Peter and John and Paul and all them wrote about, amen? They wrote about these things, and now we get to see them come to pass, amen? Isn't that something to think about? Boy, I tell you what, I love to think about that, amen? Uh, uh, the, nothing like it in the world if you don't know Jesus today. If you don't know Jesus today and you're lost and undone without him, you don't have to be. You don't have to be that way. If you're, if you're not a child of the living king today, uh, you can be. Hey, man, you can be. Not hard. It's not going to cost you any money. Hey, man, any money. It's free today. It's, it's free today. It, and if you don't know Jesus, it's our heart's desire right here. At what the world needs is Jesus, that you find him somehow, somewhere, some way, that you get Jesus Christ right down in your heart. Hey, Amen. Get him in your life. And listen. Listen, just let him take over your whole life, amen, not part of it, not only on Sundays when you go to church or Wednesdays or whenever you go, not only that time, but he needs to take over your whole life, amen, the whole thing, glory to God, because I tell you what, there's an enemy out there, there's an enemy out there, you know, there's always good and evil. Paul said every time I would do good, evil would be present, amen, so I'm telling you, there's a there's an enemy out there that we have to look for today, glory to God. And he's not out there. He he's not going to tell you how good you're doing today. He's not going to tell you the checks in the mail don't worry about the bills today. He's not going to tell you your health is fine. Don't worry about it, amen. I, uh, uh, listen, he's the enemy, glory to God. He's going to tell you the things that you don't need to do, amen. He's going to try to get you to do things that you ought not do, amen. Because he's the enemy, but there's one on the other side, amen. Glory be to God. There's one on the other side named Jesus Christ. Glory to God. That has, listen, he'll help you through hard times. He'll help you through things that you need help with. He won't, he won't just tell you one thing and go off and do another. Listen, he loves you today and he wants to help you. Glory be to God. If you don't know Jesus, if you don't have him in your heart, if you're not a born again child of the living king, you know, he told Nicodemus, he said, you must be born again, glory to God. You must be born again before you can see the kingdom of heaven. Glory to God. I tell you what, I'm glad today. 
I'm glad today that I'm a born again child of the living King. I'm glad today that I'm a born again Christian. Amen. And I'm proud to be a Christian today. I'm proud to know that I love Jesus Christ and that I'm trying to get everybody that I know, everybody within the sound of my voice to find Jesus today because if you don't know Jesus Christ, listen, there's a trumpet going to blow. Amen. There's a trumpet going to blow. And if you don't know Jesus Christ, listen, he's going to step out on a cloud when that trumpet blows and he's coming to get his church, glory to God. He's coming to get us in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And if you don't know him, you're not going to get to go. Amen. If you don't know him, you're not going to get to go, glory to God. Listen, you have to know Jesus today to get to go to heaven. Glory be to God. If you got your Bibles today, and I know you do, if you got your Bibles, we're in uh, the book of John, chapter 10. Uh, we're going to do uh, starting in verse 1. And it's Jesus talking. Jesus says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gates, the portal, to him the portal openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. And the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. In, in other words, they don't know that voice, and they'll flee from him because they don't know him. But if you know Jesus Christ today, you'll know the voice of Jesus. Amen. He says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, he is the same, listen, uh, uh, climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief, is a thief or a robber. Amen. In other words, if if you go to uh, uh, listen, if you go to Walmart, there's an entrance door there. Amen. If you go to Walmart, you're supposed to go in through that entrance door. And if you go to Walmart and you sneak around somewhere and that entrance door is closed and it's locked, and you sneak around to the side and you go through a window, guess what? You're going in as a thief and a robber. Amen. That's the same way it is with heaven today. There's only one way to heaven, bless God, and that is Jesus Christ. In other words, if you try to sneak around and go up to heaven some other way, if you try to sneak around and get to God some other way, if you try to do go around the building and go in the window and try to get up to God some other way, listen, you're as a thief and a robber, but I'm here to tell you today, if you'll go through the door, that door, which is Jesus Christ, amen, he is the door, glory to God. If you'll go through that door, you'll make it to heaven today, amen. You'll make it to heaven. I guarantee you, you will. Amen. The Bible says you will. Amen. And I believe the Bible and I believe that, listen, I believe when Jesus talks, we need to listen. I believe when Jesus says something, we need to listen. Listen, if you go to Walmart, you have to, you have to go through the entrance door. Amen. If you want something from Walmart, you have to go through the entrance door. If you want something from Lowe's, you have to go through the entrance door. You have to go in there. You have to go in the door to get what you need inside the inside the store there. If you go to if you go to work to get in there to go to work, you have to go through that entrance door. You have to get through that entrance door to go in there and go to work. Amen. If you go to if you go to the grocery store, you know, we all need groceries. We all gotta have groceries. We all gotta have food. Amen. And if you go to that grocery store and you don't go in that door, you're not gonna get any groceries, right? If you stand outside the door and you look in there, you can see groceries and you can see everything on the shelves. But if you don't walk in there and get that, if you don't go through that uh, uh, entrance door, if you don't go through there and get what's in there, what you need inside that store, you're not going to get anything. Amen. You're going to stand out there and starve to death. Oh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. You're going to stand out there and starve to death. Amen. If you're standing out here and you're looking inside the, the portals of heaven, amen, if you're standing out here and you're saying, 
boy, I'd like to get to heaven. I'd like to go there where there's no more death. There's no more nursing home. There's no more, there's no more problems, no more cancer, no more any of these things, any of the sicknesses of this world, any of the things that just tear us down. There's no more of that stuff. Amen. Wouldn't we all like to get there? Boy, I know I would. I'd like to get there. Amen. I'm going to get there. Glory to God. But if you're standing out here and you're looking in and, and you, can, you can just imagine what heaven's going to be like, but you, don't never, but you don't never go through that entrance door to get there, you're not going to make it. Amen. The Bible says Jesus is our door. The Bible says Jesus is our door. So to get to heaven, we got to go through Jesus Christ. Amen. To get to heaven, we have to go through that door. Glory to God. To get to heaven, we got to go through Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen, he, just like I said, he told Nicodemus, you must be born again. You've got to be born again to see the kingdom of heaven. In, in other words, you've got to be born of the Spirit. Amen. And to get to heaven, you have to go, go, uh, go through Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father. No man. That includes you. That includes me. That includes all of mankind. He said, no man can come unto the Father except by me. Amen. In other words, you can't get to God. You can't get to heaven. You can't get nowhere without you go through Jesus Christ today. Amen. You got to go through that door, and that door is Jesus Christ. When we get through the door, amen, when we get to Jesus, listen, whenever we get to Jesus Christ, we come to that door and we say, boy, I want in there, and we accept Jesus in our hearts. You know what? God gives us a lot of promises, amen. He gives us a lot of promises when we get in that door. Amen, God gives us a lot of promises. In Isaiah 40 and 29, he, he gives us strength. He gives strength to the weary and increases power to the weak. And you say, well, that ain't really much, Brother Rick. I, I just strength. But let me tell you something, friend. Whenever you have somebody that dies in your family that's real close to you, guess what you're going to be calling out to God for? You're going to be calling out to God for that strength, amen? You're going to need that strength because you're going to be so weak and so down and so out. Listen, that's when the devil attacks you whenever you get off by yourself, amen? That loved one passes away, and you know what? You make it through the funeral and everything goes good, but when you get off by yourself, when you get off down there and everybody's gone and you're sitting there by yourself, and you start, to, uh, you start to mourn and weep, and that's when the devil starts trying to attack you because you're weak, amen? Every, every one of us get there. We all get there. We all get weak in, in our point in, in some point in time. No devil will start attacking you right there. You ever heard the phrase, pick on me while I'm down? Step on me while I'm down. Hit me while I'm down. That's what the devil does. He, he waits on you to get down, and then he starts pounding on you, see, because you're already down. But one of the promises of God is, he said, I'll give you strength, glory to God. I'll give you strength. I'll help you when you're down there, amen. If you'll just call upon the name of Jesus Christ, if you'll just call on Jesus, glory to God, he'll reach right down out of heaven and he'll grab a hold of you and he'll help you through whatever you're going through, amen. Just call on the name of Jesus Christ. That's all we have to do. Glory be to God. Matthew chapter 7 he says, ask, and it shall be given. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Amen. Listen, this is, this is he, he's talking about spiritual things here. Amen. He's talking about things of the spirit. He's talking about uh, uh, ask, and you shall receive. If you need strength, listen, that's when the devil attacks you, when, you, when you're weak in your spirit, glory to God, and you need strength there. He said, just ask. He said, ask, and you can have that strength. He said, ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be open to you. But I tell you what, another promise, he tells us in James chapter 1, and verse 5, he says, if you lack wisdom, just ask. What did he just say here in Matthew? Ask, and you shall receive. He says in James, if you lack wisdom, ask. He said, just ask and you shall receive, amen. I'm asking right now, glory to God. I'm asking, Lord, for wisdom, amen. I'm asking God for strength and for wisdom and for the things that we need of life. You know what? We need things for everyday life, glory to God. 
Jesus said, all you have to do is ask. He said, all you have to do is ask. Amen. Mark uh, chapter 11 and 24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Wow. What a promise. What a promise. Amen. What a promise. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that. In other words, believe what you just asked for in prayer. Believe you have received it, and it will be yours. What a promise. Wow. I mean, what a promise. What a promise God just gave us. Amen. Ask and believe it. If you ask and you'll believe it, and you're asking in prayer and you're believing in prayer, listen, God will give it to you. Amen. Got to give it to you, glory to God. Jesus said, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth in by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, he is a, a, the same as a thief and a robber. Amen. If we come on over here to verse, verse 7, Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Amen. I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. Listen, you know why the sheep didn't hear them? Because they don't hear the voice of, of the thief and the robber, amen? If you're a child of God, if you're a child of the living king, you're going to hear the voice of God. You're going to hear the voice of Jesus Christ. You're going to hear the Holy Ghost telling you what to do, amen? You might hear what that old devil's saying to you, but you know not to listen to him, amen? You know to tell him to get behind you in the name of Jesus, Satan. Glory to God, you got to get behind me in the name of Jesus. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do is tell him, amen, to get behind you and believe in the name of Jesus. He says, all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door, he said. I am the door by me if any man enter in. He shall be saved, glory to God. Listen, he shall be saved. In other words, if you enter into Jesus Christ, you will be saved, amen? That's not a, that's not a maybe, and that's not an if, and that's not a I might be. He says that's a positive statement. He says you will be saved in the name of Jesus. Boy, you got to call on him today and shall go in and out and find pasture, amen? We got to call on him today, listen. Listen, there's a, uh, 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 there's a battle we're, we're in, amen. Uh, there's a devil out there that we got to fight, glory to God. It's an it's a everyday battle. Paul says we battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the darkness of the air, amen. In other words, in other words, we're not battling against this old flesh and blood here. We're battling against principalities. We're battling against demons and spirits of, uh, uh, spirits of the, of the, spirits of the, uh, other kind, amen. We got the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of the Holy Ghost in us, amen. But there's, that's not the only spirit out there, glory to God. There's other spirits out there. And you know what the Bible tells us in Deuteronomy 18? He says, stay away from all that stuff. Stay away from that stuff. Listen, you'll get caught up in it. You'll get in trouble. You'll get yourself in trouble. You'll mess with the spirit that you ain't supposed to be messing with, amen, and he'll take your life over. He'll put a spirit in you of something that you don't want in you, amen, and then you're going to have to try to get it out, glory to God. I want the spirit of God in me. I want the spirit of the Holy Ghost of God right inside of me, amen, and I know you do too, glory to God. There's a battle we got to fight, though. When we get saved... We step into the battle. We got some devils to fight. And you know what the devil done? He'll lay sin right at your doorstep. He'll lay sin right there at your doorstep. Hey Amen. If the devil knows that you have a trouble, that you're having problems with, uh, with this or that, you know what he'll do? He'll lay it right at your doorstep because he'll put it up there just so he can tempt you with it. He'll put it up there just so he can make it hard for you to go through that day without doing that. Amen. Because you're trying to stop. Listen, we all got little things we need to quit doing, and we all got little things we're constantly trying to stop doing. Amen. But the devil's constantly putting that right at your doorstep. Amen. You know what the devil does? He puts it at your doorstep hoping that you'll open that door, hoping that you'll take that whatever it is he's wanting you to take. Amen. Hoping that you'll just, somebody will give you something that you're trying to quit and somebody will hand it to you and he's hoping you'll take it and say, well, just this one time, 
because that's all it takes, friend, is just that one time. That's all it takes, friend, is just that one time to get that uh, uh, back in your uh, body, and then there it is. Then you start wanting it again, amen? Then you start wanting it again. We can drink a beer today. We can drink a beer today, and I, I could go drink a beer right now, and it wouldn't bother me. Go drink a beer, and I'd be fine. I could go on. But then if I do it again, see, well, I, I'm just going to drink this one beer just to help me through the evening, just to help me uh, uh, to get by, amen? Then tomorrow evening, and I want to drink another one. And then another week later, I, 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 this one just ain't doing enough. I think I'll drink two this time. So I drank two, amen. Listen, this is the way it works with this is the way it works with alcohol, drugs, uh, uh, most any kind of addiction you get into. You're just gonna try it one time. I'm just gonna do it the one time. This is the devil laying it at your doorstep, amen. The devil lays it right there at your doorstep. Well, I'll just do it this one time. I'll just do it this one time, and I'm quitting. I know I can quit because I'm good. See, I can quit. I know myself. Listen, we can't trust ourselves. Well, let alone do we know ourselves. Mom. You take that beer and you drink it, and then the next month or two, you need two to get by. Hey, Amen. Listen, the devil's got uh, uh, the devil's got time. Listen, he ain't he's not worried about hurrying up and getting you to drink a whole. Listen, he'll wait on you for two months, and then he'll say, "Well, yeah, it just ain't good enough for you." He'll 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 even talk to you. He'll say, well, you ain't, uh, uh, that ain't doing you no good. You, you need to drink you another one. And it won't hurt to drink two. You're already drinking one. What's it going to hurt to drink two? Listen, friend, the devil lays stuff at your doorstep just to get you back into where you was at, just to get you back to the same place where you was at. We fight a battle, glory to God, every day. We fight a battle. But you know what? When you're a born-again child of the living king, you've got somebody to fight that battle with you. Amen. You're not alone. You're not fighting by yourself. You know, I, I like that story where the, the, they went over there and, and the young man was, uh, uh, he seen all these chariots, all these horses, and all these enemy was against them, and it was just uh, him and the other man. I, can't, I think it was Elisha. Anyways, it was him and uh, uh, the, the two men there, and he said, man, how in the world are we going to, how in the world are we going to defeat this army? They surround us, and they're, and they're everywhere. They're all around us, and I can't get out. There ain't no way out. We're going we're gonna to be stuck right here, and they're just going to take us over just like that. I think it was Elisha said, God, take the scales off his eyes. Let him see, glory to God. Open his eyes up. Let him see. And, and, and the Lord opened his eyes, and, and he could see chariots all around him. He could see, he could see uh, chariots and chariots of fire and everything all around him. Amen. And he said, wow, there's more of them than they are of our enemy. Amen. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? He couldn't see them, but they was there. Listen, friend, you can't see the angels today, but they're there. Amen. You can't see them today, but they're there. And they're watching over you. And they're there to help you, glory to God. And th all you got to do is call on Jesus. Amen. And the angels are already there. You know, the Bible says in verse 10, he says, this, this kind of this kind of sums up what the devil's here for. In verse 10, he says, The thief, which is the devil, cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Amen. Listen, what is the devil trying to do to you today? Steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. Whatever the devil can steal, kill, and destroy today, he's going to do it. Amen. Whatever we let him by with, that see, listen to what I'm saying. Whatever we let him by with, I'm not letting him by with nothing, glory to God. I'm not letting him by with anything, especially when I've got a big brother named Jesus Christ, amen, that stands with me, amen. They'll, uh, uh, God will send angels down here. He encamps angels around about us, amen. Glory be to God. I'm not taking nothing off the devil, and you don't have to either. You don't have to either. You can claim what the devil's took from you, and you can claim it right back. You can take it back from him in the name of Jesus. But you have to do it through Jesus Christ. Listen, the devil said, I come to, uh, uh, Jesus said the devil come, but to steal, kill, 
and destroy. But boy, I tell you what, I like the rest of that verse. He says, I am come. You know who I am is? Amen. I am is Jesus Christ. He said, He said uh, uh, Moses told him over there, he said, God, what, who am I going to tell him that sent me? Because uh, God was sending Moses back over there to free the children of Israel. Amen. Been in bondage for 400 years. And Moses said, glory to God. Who am I going to tell them has sent me back to get them? Because I'm just a nobody trying to tell somebody all about Jesus Christ. Glory to God. He said, who am I going to tell them that sent me? Woo. Glory to God. Jesus said, God said, you tell them I am sent you. Amen. I am sent you. And I'll tell you where it's at right here in the Bible. Amen. It's in uh, Exodus uh, Exodus chapter 3, Exodus chapter 3 and verse 14, and God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent you. Amen. We need to realize that God is, God is, and, he, and, he's, and he's always will be. God is a big God. He's a powerful God. He's a miracle worker. Amen. He fed 5,000 5, people. Listen, we can't even feed two or three families, three or four families, and we think we've done good. Glory to God. Jesus reached out and fed 5,000 people with two loaves and five, five loaves and two fish, however it was. Amen. He reached out and, and fed all them people. Glory to God. And we think we do good feeding four or five families. I tell you what. We're nothing without the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Our righteousness is as filthy rags. We're nothing without the righteousness of Jesus Christ. The thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. I am come. That's Jesus Christ. I am come that you might have life. Listen, he came that we might have life. He came that we could live down here on this earth and have life. Listen, and we can have a good life down here. We don't, have to, we don't have to fight with the devil. We can put Jesus on him, amen. Whenever he comes against us, just call on the name of Jesus. And Jesus said, I came that you could have life right down here on this earth, amen. And then you know what? He didn't stop right there. He said, I came that you might have life. And then he said, I came that you might have life more abundantly, amen. In other words, even better, glory to God, even better, more abundantly can you have life right here on this earth. Amen. Whenever you live for Jesus Christ, I'm here today to tell you we're in a battle. We're in a battle. We're in a battle. Where, where good is, there evil is. Amen. When I do good, evil is present. But you know what? I don't have to put up with it. I don't have to, I don't have to say, well, I can't do that today because evil is present. Amen. I can't do this today because evil is present. I'm here to tell you today, glory to God. Evil might be present, but I don't have to put up with it. Listen, the devil might be on your back, but you don't have to put up with it. Call on the name of Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus. Tell the devil to get off of you in the name of Jesus. Listen, that's what, he, that's what they say through the Bible. That's what they say all through the Bible. They say, get the, get the hence behind me, devil, in the name of Jesus Christ. And guess what? That devil's got to go, amen. That devil has to go. There ain't, no, there ain't no other way around it. There ain't no other way to be. Whenever, whenever you get to where you're in the place that you can't control or you can't deal with it or you can't whatever's going on or he gets you down and out and, and you're down and depressed, you call on Jesus Christ. You call on Jesus Christ and you say, devil, Satan, whatever you call him, you tell him to get behind you in the name of Jesus. And you say in the name of Jesus because he has to go when you say Jesus. When you say, listen, there's power in that name. Jesus Christ, there's power in that name. Glory be to God. I tell you what, we love you here today at What the World Needs is Jesus. But better yet, God loves you. Amen. He loves you with a love that we can't even understand. Amen. I tell you what, there's nothing like the Lord in, in, in anywhere in this world. You find Jesus Christ, you'll find a new life. Amen. Glory be to God. For prayer request, you can send a private message to facebook.com forward slash what the world needs is Jesus. You can call or text Brother Ricky Phillips, 256-630-1262, Brother Kenneth Crane, 256-557-2858, or Brother Harold O'Neill, 256-475-5854. 
Hey, man, you can email us at what the world needs is Jesus TV at gmail.com. If you need anything or we can help you with anything, lead you to the Lord Jesus Christ, call any of these numbers. Hey, man, uh, uh, send us an email, send us a text, whatever you need to do, but we want to help you if we can. Until our next broadcast, may God richly bless you. I to a city Where the street of gold are laid Where the tree of life is blooming And the rose is never faded Bloom, but for a season, soon their beauty is decaying. Oh, but I am going to a city where the rose is never. Thank mm-hmm. you.